Hello, everyone. Welcome to Inconvenient Truths. I'm your host Jennifer Zheng. In our last episode, we talked about how Xi Jinping broke with convention and appointed a Politburo Standing Committee member as his personal housekeeper because of his extreme insecurity. And this was partly caused by another Politburo Standing Committee member whom Xi Jinping once trusted and who had been his housekeeper for 10 years, Ding Xuexiang. Today, I will talk about the details of this matter. Like Cai Qi we talked about last time, Ding Xuexiang also became a member of the Politburo Standing Committee at the CCP's 20th National Congress. He is currently the sixth highest ranking leader in the CCP. He had been serving as the head of the CCP's General Secretary's Office, we talked about last time since 2013, and is considered one of Xi Jinping's most important core aides. Shortly after he became a member of the Politburo Standing Committee last October, there were rumors on the internet in January this year that he had requested to resign from the Standing Committee and even that he had committed suicide. Of course, at the National People's Congress in March this year, he was appointed as the first ranked vice premier of the state council, that is, the executive vice premier. He was also appointed as the leader of the Central Committee for Hong Kong and Macau Affairs. So the rumor of his suicide were proven, uh, the rumors about his suicide were proven to be false. However, recently, a popular Chinese language YouTuber, Zhang Feng, said that according to information he received from inside the CCP, something did happen to Ding Xuexiang, and the rumors about him resigning or committing suicide were not groundless. So what happened? It is said that someone reported to Ding Xuexiang, or to Xi Jinping, that Ding Xuexiang's son had been compromised by the United States. The Chinese term he used was fan, which means to persuade someone to work for an enemy country. The content of the work can be spying, connecting information, or doing anything that can benefit the enemy country. Right now, we, we know nothing about the details of America's fan or compromising of Ding Xuexiang's son, such as who did it, where it happened, how it was done, to what extent Ding Xuexiang's son was involved, what commitments he made to the U.S. and the West, and whether he had formed a small group that could endanger Xi Jinping's safety, etc. There is no further information at the moment. What can be revealed is that Ding Xuexiang's son is currently under criminal investigation, and Ding Xuexiang himself has been questioned too. The rumor in January about Ding Xuexiang asking to resign from the Politburo Standing Committee or even committing suicide were related to this investigation. Jiang Feng said that Ding Xuexiang's son, son's so-called suicide, uh, that, sorry, Jiang Feng said that Ding Xuexiang's so-called suicide might be a way to prove his innocence to Xi Jinping. He might want to show to Xi Jinping that he was willing to die to prove that he himself was not involved in his son's affairs. Ding Xuexiang also clearly stated that he had drawn a line with his son, severed ties, and no longer recognized their father-son relationship. 
Anyway, before this incident, Ding Xuexiang had gained Xi Jinping's trust and favor. He had followed Xi Jinping since Xi's time as party secretary of Shanghai City in twenty uh, in two thousand and seven, and immediately after Xi Jinping became the head of the CCP in twenty twelve, he appointed Ding Xuexiang as the director of the General Secretary's office. This is equivalent to making him Xi Jinping's chief secretary and chief of staff. Due to the long-standing close relationship, Xi Jinping did not completely lost, did not completely lose his trust in Ding Xuexiang after Ding tried to prove his innocence with his own life. So Xi Jinping still appointed Ding as a vice premier of the state council. However, Ding could no longer hold the important position of the director of the general secretary's office. I guess Xi Jinping must have been greatly shocked by this affair. Even if the son of Ding Xuexiang, his trusted confidant, who had followed him for over a decade, could be compromised by the U.S. How many others around him could be plotting against him? There is no publicly available available information online about Ding Xuexiang's son. This shows that the CCP has guarded the information very well. It is only known that he works in the finance sector, he is involved in investments, and he is married. But his wife's identity is unknown as well. Jiang Feng said that Ding Xuexiang's son was likely reported by polit political opponents within the CCP. Do you still remember the scene at the 20th National Congress of the CCP when Xi Jinping's predecessor, Hu Jintao, was forcefully removed from the venue? In addition to a security guard, Ding Xuexiang's subordinate and deputy director of the general sector's office, Kong Shaoxun, was also involved in taking Hu Jintao away. See the man in the red silk circle? He is Kong Shaoxiang. And uh, video footage shows that Kong Shaoxiang returned to the venue and spoke with Xi Jinping about half an hour later after he took Xi Hu Jintao away. So he could, he could be possibly reporting the situation to Xi Jinping. In other words, taking Hu Jintao away in a humiliating way was orchestrated by the CCP's general sector's office led by Ding Xuexiang. Therefore, Hu Jintao's faction or other individuals within the CCP who wanted to compete with Ding Xuexiang for Xi's favor may have reported him to Xi Jinping. And in other words, even after Xi Jinping consolidated power, the power struggle within the CCP continued in a life and death manner. Even Ding Xuexiang, who was the CCP's sixth-ranked official and deeply trusted by Xi Jinping, had to try to commit suicide to prove his innocence and to protect his life and his future. In my opinion, the information revealed by Jiang Feng is very likely to be true. Why? If Xi Jinping wanted to appoint a Politburo Standing Committee member as the head of the General Secretary's office, wouldn't it make more sense to continue to appoint Ding Xuexiang, who had been in this position for 10 years? Why appoint someone like Cai Qi who is not familiar with the job? Furthermore, Ding Xuexiang went from being the head of the general secretary's office, holding significant power, to being sent to a sideline position as a vice premier of the state council. Although on the surface, his rank has been elevated, in reality, he has been sidelined and cannot play a significant role anymore. 
Ding Xuanxiang was born in September 1962 and is not yet 61 years old. There had been rumors that Xi Jinping was considered cultivating him as a successor. However, based on the fact that he was given a sideline position as a vice premier, his political career has likely reached its peak and he may not be able to achieve anything more significant. It is said that the CCP's national security system is very well aware that Ding Xuexiang's son was compromised by the United States, but Xi Jinping still arranged for, for Ding Xuexiang to become a vice premier of the state council despite opposition. The reason was he had made made significant contributions in Xi Jinping's years-long life and death power struggle with his political opponents, after all. Therefore, from the incident where Ding Xuexiang's son was compromised and he was reported by his political opponents, we can see why Xi Jinping has such a strong sense of crisis and even repeatedly uses idioms full of cries such as the wind is high and the waves are rough and frightening to describe the current situation of the CCP. In the next episode, I will talk about the third event that is related to Xi Jinping's paranoia. It is the emergency disposal of millions of copies of the CCP's most important mouthpiece, The People's Daily, on March 30th. Well, that's all for now. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Please double check if you are still subscribed to my channel as YouTube keeps taking off my subscribers. And if you like my content, please spread my channel and videos or go to my website at jenniferzengblog.com. That's jenniferzengblog.com. Sign up for a membership or make a donation to support my efforts. Thank you. See you soon.